after conducting interviews with the candidates, the Board of Regents met in June to select Texas Tech University Provost Dr. Lawrence Skuvenick as the sole finalist for the President's position. I have great confidence in him. It, it, there's no doubt that he is the most qualified person to lead Texas Tech. So today, I'm proud to add another well-deserved position to Dr. Skuvenick's long list of service to Texas Tech. And I get the opportunity and honor to introduce you as the 17th president of Texas Tech University. I am profoundly humbled and grateful for this opportunity to serve Texas Tech as its president. But our current success is built upon a foundation that reflects a proud and long history of achievements and contributions of faculty, students, and alumni that have made significant differences in our nation, the state, and the world. The environment for achieving our goals has never been better. It will be a privilege to work with Chancellor Duncan. The relationship between the system and the components and the support and guidance of our Board of Regents are tremendous assets. The impact of Texas Tech is growing and we will continue to extend our statewide presence through support of our regional sites and increase our global reputation through continued recruitment of international students and engagement with partners abroad. I pledge to you that I will be a president who listens and welcomes partnership to realize the full potential of this university. I value the opportunity to work with the student and faculty leadership in an atmosphere that respects the importance of shared governance to positively affect lives and improve society is an honorable goal and a responsibility of higher education. This is what we must do at Texas Tech. This is what we will do together. Thank you and go Tech.